Hello there. Just wanted to uh, update you on this uh, double pole guy I've been messing with here. Um, I got a new magnet wheel built. Um, these guys are just basically your uh, ceramic magnets. Two north poles glued together. So it looks like that. I just got them at Harbor Freight. They're not real strong, strong magnets, but they're pretty good. Um, anyway, I wanted to show you how I uh, built this thing. And uh, it's kind of nuts. I went a little more nuke than usual, but I don't want these magnets flying off of here. Um, so pretty much what I did is made a bunch of pieces of wood like this that is this layer in here so I basically wedged that inside the bicycle rim <coughs> so it looks like like this and I made them a good tight fit so they won't come out then uh, basically I glued the, <coughs> the magnets crossways with super glue on top of those then I cut these uh, these wedges here and glued them in opposing one another this way basically to create a wedge um, so these guys are glued in there real nice I don't think I'm gonna have to worry about them flying off of there <clears throat> plus I'm really not doing huge RPM I'm in the two three hundred RPM range even the 150 range really um, this on here is uh, an experiment I did a while back for uh, putting a pulley on here <clears throat> but really I need to make a really small one but uh, this is one way you can attach uh, a pulley onto a bike wheel so Anyway, that's uh, kind of what I've been doing. Um, this is my other wheel. Stop this for a second. This is my other wheel here where I've wedged in blocks, but um, you know, these magnets are pretty long this way, and I wanted to make them shorter like this, so you know, I tried gluing them across here and taping them, but that was funky, didn't work very good at all. So that's what I came up with this thing. Um, kind of rearranged the circuits down here so they're a little cleaner. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, this is the two coil setup with uh, four transistors per coil, just one trigger coil. Um, so that's that design. Here's a kind of the prototype I built. Just to test the idea of these magnets and all. And this is basically just a lawnmower wheel uh, I bought at uh, Tractor Supply. And it's a pretty heavy wheel. I was going to cut the rubber off, but I kind of wanted to try out something with a lot of mass to it. Uh, it does work but it's a bit it's a bit slow uh, it's really hard to, to keep it going um, part of the problem is that when I made it I didn't check the re the outside roundness of the wheel so it, it definitely goes in and out so it's uh, something I wish I would have checked because <clears throat> I could have taken a router and set up a jig and spun this thing around and trued it up before I glued these magnets on here um, what I did was I took this router I made this jig right here so it slips right over the, the tire nice and tight I just put a clamp on it I had some wedges to keep it um, you know, true that way. 
and then you know I just routed some slots through that sucker and it actually worked pretty good it's a pretty stinky mess but that worked pretty good and uh, the other thing I did I don't know if anybody wants to build one of these or this is not a very accurate wheel maybe if you got something a little better <clears throat> but I made a better bearing out of it by using a half inch shaft with a piece of uh, you know, brass tubing here so it's not bad I mean it spins pretty freely but like I say it's a really heavy wheel and so it doesn't really spin very fast uh, but it does work um anyway yeah I was gonna mess with putting these guys under here and seeing if I can get get a true pulsating thing going on with these coils and well, those are just some of the things I've been playing with. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Alright, take care everybody.